noise blown out of proportion but let's be real here it's not close to what Louisville saw last week Adam Humphreys the deep man for Clemson fields it inside his own 30 makes a couple of guys miss Humphreys has the 40 cuts back to the middle of the field Humphreys inside the 35 down to the 30 still on his feet and Adam Humphreys is in for a Clemson touchdown Tigers for Louisville, a rude welcome to Death Valley. Tigers showing blitz. Here comes the pressure, and Bonifon goes down. Jadar Johnson, the safety, got in there first. And coming right up the middle, and Clemson was showing pressure from the get-go. Bonifon has to understand, I don't want to give up the sack and lose, lose field position. Get the ball up. Press coverage on the outside. Here's the blitz. Bonifon, the ball comes loose. It's a live ball. Who has it? And the officials are trying to figure it out. And it was Gary Peters, the corner. Clemson has it. Touchdown for Clemson. Well, there's your turnover, and it leads to six. It's exactly what you were just talking about. And Gary Peters, the firing corner off the edge. And Bonifon has to be aware. Touchdown. To the short side of the field or the boundary side of the field, you always have to be aware of the, the corner fire, and that's what Gary Peters does right there. Bonifon had no clue that he was coming. You have to take a peek at that before the snap and make sure that that corner's not coming, and Bonifon was totally caught off guard. What a big play by Peters. Damn. Bonifon will keep it. Clemson read it all the way, and he's dropped back at the 45-yard line. In the game against Louisville's defense. Radcliffe has nowhere to go, and Clemson will use its final timeout, so the Tigers will get the ball back. Clock stopped with 1.11 to go. Clemson, extra defender in run gap defense. Clemson brings the blitz, and Bonifon is sacked. Ben Bolaware got to the quarterback, and it's fourth down for Louisville. Brent Venables dialing up the pressure, and nobody slides out to take Bolaware. I mean, that was more of a... The junior out of Georgia. The hold, the kick, it's up, and it's good. As time expires in the third quarter, Clemson with a field goal, and the Tigers take a three-point lead into the final 15 minutes of regulation. At the end of the third quarter, if you're going to hit the upright, you might as well hit the inside of it. That's exactly what Lakeup does. Nice ricochet. That guy deserves some bounces to go his way, and Dabo Sweeney really, really likes that. We got a good one in Death Valley. 15 minutes to go in regulation at the start of the fourth. As if they're going to run it, but alert play action right here. Christian in motion. It's a run. It's Brown. Breaks the first tackle. Lunges forward. Ball squirts loose, but he was already down. And it looks like he's going to be short. I think he's going to be short by a half yard. Gardner. That was the 19th fumble of the year by Louisville. They're lucky to recover it. And on second down and nine, nothing going on there. Ben Bolwer the stop, and it's third down. You notice Bolwer has had himself a game today. He has. 
Tony Stewart is a very valuable player. Tweaked the hammy last week against NC State. And Bowler has played in his stead. And man, has he had himself a game. He's been everywhere. Side of the ball has played extremely well here this afternoon. Here's Choice on second and five. He's got a bit of a seam. And Choice down to the 44-yard line. It's a first down for the Tigers. Bulls defense has been superb this afternoon. Can they get another stop? And that's Choi straggling the defender across the 40 for a gain of seven. Leading the clock. Choice skirts through across the 35-yard line to the 33. It's a gain of seven. This run game is spark here in the second half. There's the screen. Scott has a first down and more inside the 20 before he's run out of bounds by Kelsey, a gain of 12. Play clock down to five, down to four. Here's Choice. Choice to the outside, and he's bumped out of bounds inside the 10. First and goal, Clemson. Gardner, the give to Brown. He's turned away by the Clemson defense. And it's third and goal. Third and goal, and they have no choice to Louisville but to hurry up and call a play right here. And Gardner will spike it, and this ball game will come down to one play. Not a bad decision. They were going to burn so much time trying to get a playoff, and then is it the right play after all of that? Not a bad decision. Rusher that you want to run at, he made a tremendous play and run defense there. What's, what's the call here on fourth and goal? I believe you have to get your quarterback, Will Gardner, outside the pocket and give him multiple receivers and the potential to run it if he needs to. Not his strong suit, but I still like the call. It comes down to this. Gardner rolling to his right on the run. Throws incomplete and Clemson holds. job on both sides of the ball defensively. Stout's going to sneak ahead for a little bit of breathing room. Louisville out of timeouts. And Clemson survives a scare here in Death Valley. A hard-fought game. Louisville and Bobby Petrino made a statement. They're players in the ACC. They showed up in Death Valley. They were not intimidated and had a chance to win, but Dabo Sweeney's team found a way at the end. Two great defenses that had to withstand some moments of intrepidation on the offensive side of the ball, and they played very well.